Equipoise Institute presents Equipoise, the Ultimate in Aesthetics and Function by Dr. Jerome J. Goodman and Michael J. Goodman. Which set of partial dentures would your patients prefer to wear? The conventionally designed Class I lever partials with unsightly clasps which will destroy the abutment teeth and show when your patient is talking or smiling. During mastication, when you want stability, not retention, the Class I lever retentive clasps engage the undercut area of the abutment teeth with positive retention. The resulting force applied to the abutment teeth is horizontal and of great magnitude. Or, an equipoise design partial denture that shows little or no metal and functions as close to natural teeth as possible. During function, the equipoise removable partial denture protects the abutment teeth from horizontal stress. The free end bars disengage from the undercuts. Only the prepared rests contact the teeth. All forces are vertical with no increase in magnitude. The proven equipoise system is designed to protect, strengthen, and preserve the remaining teeth. The equipoise system of removable partial dentures, using the basic laws of physics, was first introduced by Herman W. Goodman in 1946. It was further developed into a complete system by his son, Dr. Jerome Goodman, who, with his son, Michael Goodman, own and operate the Equipoise Institute. The word equipoise means equal balance. Equipoise is not a partial denture but rather a philosophy and a system of practicing dentistry so that all forces during function are directed along the long axis of the tooth. The equipoise or balance of force principles are based on the class two lever system of physics. The class two lever has the fulcrum at the end with the effort and resistance arms both on the same side. Both arms of the class two lever always move in the same direction. A class two lever design, when applied to a partial denture, will function as follows. The prepared rest becomes the fulcrum, the denture base the effort arm, and the free end bar of the clasp the resistance arm. During mastication, the free end bar, moving in the same direction as the denture base, disengages the undercut on the abutment tooth. The only force transmitted to the abutment tooth is vertical along the long axis of the tooth. This force is transferred to the abutment tooth via the prepared rest. With a displacement force, the free end bar and denture base move in the same direction. The free end bar now engages the undercut and positive retention is assured. The design of the conventional partial denture uses a class one lever. Most prosthesis designed this way act like crowbars loosening and destroying the abutment teeth. No amount of splinting, stress breaking, or other expensive non-functional devices can correct the initial flaws in this type of design. When using the class one lever design system, the rest becomes the fulcrum. The denture base, the effort arm, and the retentive tip, the resistance arm. During mastication, the retentive tip engages the undercut area of the abutment tooth as the denture base tends to rotate around the fulcrum rest. The resulting force applied to the abutment tooth is horizontal and of great magnitude. When a displacement force is applied to the denture base, the retentive tip moves in the opposite direction as the prosthesis rotates around the fulcrum rest the free end tip disengages the undercut and the prosthesis is dislodged. With the equipoise system, your removable partial denture is the end itself, not the means to the end, a full denture. Today, the equipoise system for removable partial dentures is being practiced by thousands of dentists and is recognized as the finest way to preserve and protect your patient's teeth. Whether you are replacing only one tooth or only one tooth is remaining, the Equipoise Partial Denture System is the proven choice. 
If you want what's best for your patient's mouth, insist on nothing less than an Equipoise removable partial denture. The Equipoise design system for removable partial dentures was developed to meet the following demanding criteria. 1. The prosthesis must protect, preserve, and strengthen the abutment teeth. A partial denture should not be a means to an end, but the end itself. 2. The prosthesis must function as close to natural teeth as possible. The equipoise, or balance of force design principles, eliminates stress breaking, hinges, and other expensive and non-functional devices, which hinder the effort to protect and preserve the abutment teeth. 3. The partial must be extremely aesthetic. For most patients, unsightly clasps are an emotional problem, and many patients reject the placing of a restoration in their mouth because of the ugly metal. 4. The partial must be retentive and stable so as to give the patient utmost comfort during mastication and at rest. 5. The partial must have a direct and easy path of insertion. 6. The partial must have built-in permanence with a minimum need for repair, and any repairs must be made simply and inexpensively. 7. Simplicity of design is most important. No unique skills or difficult technique should be required of the dentist or dental technician. 8. The price must be comparable to that of similar prosthesis so as not to be too costly for the patient or the dentist. Economic questions cause major headaches in all dental offices. A simply designed prosthesis with a minimum amount of metal showing can be constructed to fit the pocketbooks of all patients. 9. The partial must have universal adaptation so that all materials and all teeth can be utilized. The Equipoise removable partial denture system meets all of this criteria and is unlimited in its design applications. The designs work with natural teeth, crowns, and implants, which makes Equipoise the affordable choice for today and in the future. The Equipoise system uses only four basic designs. Dr. Goodman will now show you the four basic designs used in the Equipoise system. Design number one, the free and saddle design for anterior free and saddles and posterior free and saddles. Design number two, the free end saddle on one side, tooth born on the other side. Design number three, one or two edentulous areas, all tooth born, the free end tips face each other, placed next to the edentulous area. Design number four, Three or more edentulous areas, all tooth bone. The free end tips all move in the same direction. Two painless preparations are necessary in order to make a properly designed equipoise removable partial denture. Preparation one. The interproximal guide plate is made with a one millimeter tapered diamond stone or 557 carbide burr. One half millimeter is removed from the abutment tooth and one half millimeter from the adjacent tooth. Preparation two, the prepared rest. Rests are made on the abutment teeth opposite the indentulous area. The rest should be between one and one and a half millimeters in depth. Rests on molars and premolars should be beveled and spoon shaped. The prepared rests on the incisors should be lock-in rests or incisal rests on the linguals of the teeth opposite the indentulous area. The incisal rests are made with an inward bevel. These simple preparations are easily measured with the equipoise analyzer, which is designed to check the depth of the rests and the width of the interproximal plates. This end of the equipoise analyzer measures the rest depth up to one and a half millimeters. On the opposite side of the analyzer, 
there are three measuring cylinders. The first cylinder is one millimeter and measures the width of the interproximal plate. The second cylinder is 1.6 millimeters, the measurement for the equipoise or single abutment CNL precision attachment crowns. The third cylinder is 2.2 millimeters, the measurement necessary for the double abutment equipoise or CNL precision abutment crowns. The equipoise paralleler is used to check the interproximal plates to make sure they are parallel for a proper path of insertion of the partial dentures. In addition to this videotape, the Equipoise Institute recommends that you work with the Equipoise textbook, Equipoise, the Proven Partial Denture System. The textbook contains 153 line and color illustrations that help you to quickly get an in-depth understanding of the Equipoise system, its basic designs, and its unlimited applications. Dr. Goodman will now demonstrate with a patient how easily the equipoise system can be used. In a few pain-free visits, our patient will have an aesthetic and functional removable partial denture that will protect, preserve, and strengthen his remaining teeth. Visit 1. Before the equipoise partial denture procedure is started, a clinical evaluation of the mouth is made. Periodontal and all operative dentistry is completed. If necessary, x-rays are taken. Study models are made and sent to a certified Equipoise Dental Laboratory for evaluation and estimate. Visit 2. After determining the abutment teeth and examining the study models, equilibration of the mouth must be performed before taking the final impression. After equilibration, the interproximal access areas are created. All rests are prepared in the prescribed manner and contouring of the abutment teeth is done if necessary. A final impression is then taken with a hydrocolloid material or alginate and poured in your office in a yellow buff stone. A bite registration and counter model are taken and sent to the certified dental laboratory for your equipoise framework to be cast. Before the patient is dismissed, the interproximal space must be preserved by placing a light cure composite in the area. Never acid etch. This stage is very important. Visit 3. The equipoise metal framework is now tried in the patient's mouth. Any prematurities in the area of the prepared rests must be adjusted. A vertical and centric registration is taken and the master cast and counter are returned to the equipoise certified laboratory for a trial setup of teeth in wax. At this visit, the doctor will take a shade of the patient's natural teeth. Before the patient is dismissed, the interproximal space must be preserved by placing a light cure composite in the prepared area. Visit 4. The equipoise partial denture with teeth set in wax is tried in the patient's mouth and vertical and centric relationships are confirmed. The aesthetics are approved by both the patient and the doctor. Before the patient is dismissed, the interproximal space must be preserved by placing a light cure composite in the prepared area. The case is now returned to the Equipoise Certified Laboratory for processing. Visit 5. The prosthesis is inserted into the patient's mouth. All prematurities are corrected and the patient is instructed in the proper care and insertion and removal of their Equipoise partial denture. Five visits are not always necessary to ensure the proper fabrication of an equipoise partial. Use your judgment as to how many visits are necessary. The case should be completed in approximately two hours of chairside time. 1. All cases should be completed and returned to the doctor on the original master model. Master models are duplicated in the laboratory and all fabrication is completed on the duplicated models. Two. Make sure all undercuts are eliminated on the denture base before inserting the case. 3. Make sure clasps have been freed from acrylic so they can function properly. 4. The dentist should correct all prematurities and overextensions on the denture base and instruct the patient how to remove and care for their prosthesis. 5. Never touch equipoise clasps with pliers if added retention is necessary. A specially contoured instrument is placed between the E-clasps and the denture tooth 
moving the E-clasp slightly for extra retention. The Equipoise Restorative Removable Partial Denture System has been a successful proven technique since 1946. There have been many imitators that claim to provide similar results, but no other design can strengthen, protect, and preserve abutment teeth like the proven Equipoise Partial Denture Designs. By using the applied laws called the Balance of Force Principles of Partial Denture Design, Equipoise can provide partial dentures to your patients that will be extremely functional with pain-free procedures, highly aesthetic, as well as being cost-effective. The Equipoise Proven Partial Denture System is designed to handle all of your removable partial needs. It is a simple, easy, proven system that can be used with many different applications. The Equipoise C&L Precision Partial is the only available system that can be incorporated with a single crown. The retention L-spring is universal in size and shape and easily replaced chair side. Equipoise Partials are an excellent way to do your TMD cases and can also be used with implants to provide a successful alternative to your fixed or overdenture cases. Most of all, Equipoise Partials are good for your patients. Your patients will be satisfied customers who will help bring referrals to your practice. In order to ensure that you have a genuinely designed Equipoise case, make sure you use only Equipoise certified dental laboratories and receive an Equipoise certificate of authenticity with each case.